Hey friends, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a model I recently grabbed online, which takes an image that could be blurry, upscales it, and also reimagined it in comfy UI. The steps are really straightforward, but there's a few models that you guys need to get. So let's get started. All right, the model's from Olivio. So this is the JSON file, the portrait reimagined upscaler. You can just download this JSON file and import it into your Comfy UI. If you don't know what Comfy UI is, I've got a video up here. You can install it and run it. I'm running the portable version of Comfy UI. So basically when you go into this model here, you can see here, you can download it and get the JSON file, and then you can import it into your Comfy UI. You go into your Comfy UI and just say load and then load up the JSON files. Once you load it in, you should get this view over here that looks like this. Now, there's a few models in here that he actually uses. So the first one is this upscale model over here. I'll leave a link to all these models so you can download them straight from this video as this was quite a challenge for me. So if you're quite new to this, this is a PF, uh, PTH file. What you need to do is you're gonna need to go into Comfy UI Windows Portable, Comfy UI and find this extra models paths.yaml. This may not be renamed like this, but you need to rename the file. Once you've renamed this, it'll actually look inside these paths for these different things things that they need. So the first thing that you guys need is you need this file, which is the four times NMKD superscalar sp.p. So this is an upscale model. So what you need to do is you need to go into Comfy UI. You need to go into your models directory, and then you need to go into your upscale models. So you just put the the file over here, you download it from the internet from the link and you put the file in here, then this will actually reference it. The next steps is fairly straightforward. You follow the same process where you go and you download this, another upscaler in the same directory, PTH. And then what he also uses, he uses models over here. So this is a control net model. These names reference the folder uh, folders inside that directory. So if you go into models, you can see control net, control nets in here. So these are the two that he uses. And for checkpoints, you put the checkpoints in here as well. So I believe he uses this realistic vision as well. So basically all, all those steps be able to, here's the other control net, be able to get this working. So once you get those work, the other thing you do is you, uh, you need a manager and store custom nodes as well. So uh, if there's uh, custom nodes in here that you don't have, so you might need to do that as well. So in terms of the image itself, obviously you just load it in. You can put the custom prompt in here. So this will just help the AR work out what to do with it. The denoise value over here specifies how much of the original image you want to uh, reimagine. So if it's a higher value like 0.5, it's obviously gonna go more creative, which is cool. What you would do is you would hit Q and then it will go and take the image and reimagined it. You can see it's loading through here and adding more detail to it. This is also another value you can change as well. This value, you can play around with it. So then it comes to this point and you can see here the level of detail. I mean, it's added this and this and this. It's just incredible. Um, at the top as well, you can see that from the original uh, image if we go over to here you can see you know this is sort of blurry and that so this is actually from starcraft so it doesn't take too long you can change the steps here the cfg is the guidance um, of it and um we'll just wait a minute but yeah and then you can get um some photographs so it's really cool the detail is really incredible so you can see in this image here you can see like the amount of detail that comes out in terms of the the lips you can see the eyes um just really really incredible i mean the, the level of detail with the jewelry um really really incredible so i was super impressed by this uh if you see the orc here so you can see here the original images on the left and then um on the right you can see this level of detail it's just i mean it's incredible the way it's the way it's added added that in um so yeah if you guys have any questions post comments uh glad you liked it and i'll leave the links catch you next time